What's up everybody? Tindo here and on today's episode we go to the thrift store and come home with something super awesome. I personally think that today's find is one of my best finds of the year. Now, you may or may not feel the same, but what I want you to do is definitely stick around to the end of the episode, check my mega haul out, and let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. Awesome find or no bueno? Check this out. Today's gonna be a Goodwill sort of day. We're gonna go to three Goodwills on the southwest end of Phoenix. We haven't been to any of them in quite some time. I'm pretty excited about it, especially this first one. This first one is just, it's so secluded on this side of town that we just never get over to it. So let's go check it out. There's a whole bunch of nonsense games here. GameCube in the lockbox and it's 18 bucks, which is a little bit out of my price range that I like to pay for those, especially since it doesn't have its cables, and doubly especially since I have like three of them at home I need to get rid of. What do you got? Uh, potentially real Gucci shoes. Gucci. It's Gucci, man. And us buy Gucci shoes. All right, that didn't look like it was gonna go too well, but then I found two games that I don't have and they were in great condition, so I'm happy enough with that. Hannah found some Gucci shoes. Let's go. Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> Are we hype beast now? Okay, the next Goodwill, uh, it's just further west. We're just going, going, going to the edge of town. And uh, I haven't been to this Goodwill in forever, so fingers crossed. I found a brand new Coke Oakley for 4 dollars No joke. No joke. What do you got? A little duck cup. Alright, that wasn't too bad. It was about like the first stop. I got two games. Uh, one was that Hulk game that I have come across dozens of times. And I just never find the disc in the case or I never find it complete. So I'm glad to finally have that complete. Put that whole game on the shelf. I love me some Hulk. The other thing I got was a PSP game. I'm happy to have it, but there were two other PSP games. One of them I already had, and then the other one, it was a player's choice disc and a non-player's choice case. So I just passed it up. I'll come across it again later. And that's not bad. So let's go on to the last stop of the day. It's another Goodwill, even further west. It's so far out there. It's one of the newest Goodwills in town. And uh, last time I was there, there was lots of good stuff in the lockbox, so I... I don't know what to expect, but I'm hoping it's good. Is all this the bag your own toy stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I'm just gonna take all of it. Okay. <laughs> it's 
nothing but Ninja Turtle and Super Mario toys. That's wild. These are old. Yeah, they're all like they're the the five for a dollar or whatever. For. Buying everyone, I'm just gonna buy the whole band. These are all five for a dollar or ten for a dollar forty nine. What? What now? I got all those Ninja Turtles and Mario toys for like four bucks. Come on. What? That's wild. That's super wild. Let's go! A whole box of Ninja Turtles and Mario toys. That almost looks made up. Cause I love me some Ninja Turtles. I have a small Ninja Turtle collection. I'm more into collecting the Ninja Turtle VHS than I am the toys, but I'm still glad to find the toys, especially that many. And uh, I walked up to the rolling carts where they roll the stuff out of the back of the store. Now, mind you, Half Off Saturday just passed. So, like, they're starting to restock for the week right now after the store being devastated. And there's this green bin full of toys, and it took me a split second to figure out what it was. Uh, if you've ever noticed in my videos, a lot of the toys uh, in Goodwills here are put up on a wall to dig through, and you make your own bag to take home. Which is really funny because the things that they put in pre-made bags for you to buy are always stuff that they think is highly sought after, i.e. Ninja Turtle toys. So I have no idea who was working in the bag, what they were thinking, not bagging those all up in one bag and putting like a $50 price tag on it. If it didn't sell immediately, it definitely would have sold a half off Saturday for 25 bucks. That was a really good haul. So the fact that I just got all of those for just five sitting, it was like it was $1.49 times four. So that's right at $4 plus $2, six, right at six bucks. That's quick maps. So I don't, I don't know how that happened, but I was really lucky to walk in there when I did. The day of shooting this episode is Tuesday. And usually on Tuesdays, we go get chicken wings. And uh, today will be no different because I would eat chicken wings every day of the week if she would let me, but she only lets me on Tuesdays. So that's... Man, I love chicken wings. We've been thrifting all day. Hi. <laughs> You've been sleeping for a while. I was napping. I heard the record button and I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Got in a full day of thrifting, brought home a bag full of goodies. The sun's just about set, so we did good. What are you two doing? Why are you in the bathtub? Huh? All right, everybody, we're back in the game room, and I am very excited about today's haul because, you know, we bring home a lot of nonsense sometimes. A lot of the clothes that we bring home are just average pieces of clothing that we sell a lot of and sometimes the video games that we bring home are just sports titles that nobody really cares about but as a guy that's going for complete video game collections they're a necessary evil but everything we brought home today I think it's a banger. So let's actually just do something a little bit different today. Let's go through my video games first then we'll talk about what you got and then we'll talk about the reason we're all here. One of the <laughs> awesomest things I've ever got. So First up on the video games, we've got a copy of Logan's Shadow on the PSP, a game that I have never played before. I've not played a lot of Siphon Filter games. I've played a couple of those original ones back in the day. Uh, this one has my name on it because I bought it out of the lockbox. And when you buy something out of the lockbox, they put your name on it and put it behind the counter at the Goodwills here. So it's complete, and uh, I'm definitely excited to give this a try. If anybody's played it, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you liked about it or didn't like about it. But I'm happy to have any PSP game, really. Next up, I've got a complete Sega Genesis game, Brett Hole Hockey 95. It's a little bit torn up, as you can see, which I almost put it back because of that reason. But I opened it up, and it's got complete manual and cartridge, and the cartridge just looks untouched. So for that reason, I was like, well, I'll just take this. I'll tape that back. I'll put it in a new case. It'll be fine. It's not really a game that I'm very likely to play, but I'm very happy to have it. And then next up... Very excited about this. This will probably be the one uh, that I play the soonest out of all the games that I bought today. Hulk for the PlayStation 2. 
I have found this empty case so many times for different systems. Finally, I have one that's actually playable. I love the Hulk. I have a giant Hulk t-shirt I wear all the time. One of my favorite comic book characters. So, very happy to find that. And then, last and not least, I found these two games. Naval Ops. Uh, both Commander and Warship Gunner. And when I saw these on the shelf today at the Goodwill, I was like, man, I've never seen these games before. That might not mean anything. They might not really be rare at all. But uh, it's just kind of getting to the point in my collecting where I've seen so much. I've been to so many game stores all over the country. I've shopped so many PlayStation 2 games at so many thrift stores. Now when I see a game that I've never seen before, I buy it up. And I buy it up quick. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you know anything about these games at all. I uh, will definitely play them if anybody highly recommends them. But uh, I'm happy to have them. happy to put them on the shelf. Now, that is all of the video games that I got today. Hannah, let's talk about what you got. Go ahead and tell us. I'll start with the less cool item, but I like it. It is a duck cup. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, the duckiest cup I've ever yeah. seen. I'm trying to find, just like I did a while back, I found a set of plates that don't match but go together. I'm trying to find a set of cups that don't match but go together, and that's the newest part of the collection. So everything in our house is going to be patchwork. Yeah, it's going to be cute. All right, I dig it. All right, what else did you get? Then I found these that are really cool. They are oh, they're Gucci shoes. Vintage Gucci shoes. They they're very the, nice. The Gucci logo on the back. They got the stripe and the leather is embossed with the Gucci um, quilt pattern. Um, gosh, these look really good. Yeah. So if they aren't real, they are a really, really good fake. But um, It's kind of a funny thing because we've been doing what we do now, reselling clothes and stuff, just long enough that I wouldn't consider us Louis Vuitton experts, but we've gotten really 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 good at spotting fake and real louis bags and we've we've found and sold a few nice good louis bags and it's not something we we seek after but when you walk into a goodwill and there sets a real louis bag for a few bucks what are you gonna do you know what i mean so we kind of felt that way with these shoes uh we're not really gucci experts but we are uh as close as average people can be uh, um to being experts on Quality craftsmanship, and these are definitely put together very well. Hannah herself is a well-trained seamstress. Some of you guys might know this. She uh, has been sewing her whole life and has done so for hire, has done so for personal work. She's even done some seamstressing for film work, and uh, there's good stitches and they're bad stitches. Yeah, I'm like, these are pretty pretty clean. There's a few, like, little flaws, but I wonder if it's just from age. So, like, you can kind of see that there's, like, some stitches that are coming un... Like un like pulled yeah. i want to say um but other than that like it could just be because they're old because you can see the inside the leather is starting to like wear off a little bit just yeah. because you know they're old yeah so they're definitely old either way but i mean we're not gonna lose any money anyway because there's still a market for you know knockoff stuff Shh. <laughs> not that we're gonna go try to sell these these are about your size they are they? about my size hannah got herself <laughs> A pair of Gucci shoes. Does that mean we're hype beasts? Oh no. <laughs> Alright, that that's probably close. That would have been fine of the day for sure. Okay? that We would have been happy about that. I'd probably been just about as happy about those shoes today as I was that Hulk game, which so far is my fine of the day. But then, <laughs> this was so dumb. This is a good thrift story, how I got all these guys, okay? This is, this is one of those once a year maybe twice a year if you're lucky. And if you go thrifting as much as me, this is a once or twice a year find. And it has all the makings of being a great find because of because of a few things. Let me just throw off a few of the best points of how this happened. I'm walking around our third store of the day and I haven't found much, right? And I'm, I'm a little disappointed, but you know, I'm trying to make daily episodes and honestly, I'm just trying to make some entertainment. That's kind of what comes first for me. That's my first priority to get some good shots and tell a good story for you guys to watch. And a very close second priority, I want to find good stuff because I want to grow my collection and you know, that's what you guys are watching for. What, you know, the good finds. And so the day's about to wrap up. This is the last stop. I'm like, ah, okay, we're just, it's going to be an average episode. No big deal. There's always tomorrow. We're making videos every day. And I walk to the back of the store and there's a lady with a cart fresh out of the back of the store putting stuff on the shelves. And uh, I'm looking the cart up and down and I look past this three or four times because it's toys. And I, I've said this a bunch. I don't buy toys a ton on the channel. Just seldomly when it's like Power Rangers and you, you guys know the stuff that I really like. 
So I don't even kind of look at this. And actually what makes me stop and finally look at it, I'm giving away everything here, hold on. There was a, this Yoshi was on top, and I think this, this uh, mushroom was on top, right? And so I was like, oh, there's a couple different Mario toys in there, and I already have this one, so I, I was like, because there's two, I should definitely go dig through it, and I go look close, and boom, turtles. Lots of turtles. And then I kind of eyeball it closer, and I, it becomes evident that this whole thing is full of Mario toys and Ninja Turtle toys. And, and then it struck me that the box that they were in is their bag your own toy box. Like, it just, it took several moments for all of this to click and me to go, those are five for a dollar. Actually, ten for a dollar fifty. I never knew that. I don't know if that's new. Do you? I They've, don't know. As long as we've been shopping here, if you find a toy in the loose toy bins, you can buy one for fifty cents, right? You can buy five for a dollar. I know it's a big jump, but a lot of the time I just find one, and I don't want four other toys that are there, so I just pay the fifty cents, and it's fine. You know, it's a charity, whatever. But as soon as I saw that, I did the math. I was like, this is like $5 for all these classic toys. So I, I, I told the lady, I was like, I know this box goes over there, but I'm going to go ahead and take this up to the cash register. She's like, oh, honey, that is fine. And I was <laughs> like, sweet. So I pretty much directly took it from there to the cash register and paid for it. Now, I am going to go through every single one of these toys. We're going to talk about them. Now, here's the thing. I watched, um, there was about... 10 or 12 Ninja Turtle VHS tapes between myself and the kid neighbor next door to me when I was growing up. And we didn't really have cable or anything. So for the earliest part of my life, my only knowledge of the Ninja Turtles was those uh, handful of episodes. And now, as you all know, it seems like for a long time, every new episode of the Ninja Turtles had a new character. So there's a lot of dudes in here I'm not going to know. There's a lot of variations in here of the Turtles I'm not going to understand. Um... So, I'm, not, I'm saying this to say I'm not a Ninja Turtle expert. So, if anybody watching is a Ninja Turtle expert and you spot anything that uh, you want to tell me what it is, feel free. I would love to have a little extra information. Now, I will say, we did right before we sat down to record this episode, we watched the newest episode, or one of the newest episodes for the newest season of uh, The Toys That Made Us, a documentary series on Netflix about toys and uh we watched the ninja turtle episode just just in preparation for this but i don't feel any more prepared it was a cool episode go watch it if you haven't <laughs> but actually i am a little bit more prepared and i'll tell you why we'll start with this one uh, there were some they were talking about that i'd never even remember hearing of and one of them was the space the space turtles i never had a space turtle growing up so uh that was cool to see that on the episode and realize there was one in the bag sure. he's he's definitely old but i'm very happy to have him um, we're going to have to make some sh room on the shelf for more Ninja Turtles. That's all there is to it. All right. I'm really excited to go through this bag. My brother had these when I was a kid. Um, I, I mean, I definitely played with them when I was a kid, but I didn't really know a whole lot about the Ninja Turtles. I just knew that he loved his Ninja Turtle set. Right. And I already see some that we had when I was growing up, and I just, I'm so excited. All right, well, so let's just take turns going through and grabbing <laughs> one. If you want to grab the ones that you remember, that'd be fine. I remember him. Okay, show the camera. I don't know who he is, but... I, <laughs> <laughs> Some sort of mole. He's clearly like a mole, a digger, tunneler mole. That's cool. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so That's excited. so awesome. All right. Next up, there's a few things in here I wasn't sure if they were Ninja Turtle related. I mean, he must be. Uh, but what are you, man? He's got, like, flip-out arms. I don't know. Oh, his fists change. Oh, sweet. He puts his gloves on. <laughs> That's cool. All right, go ahead. Um, this guy, I remember these. Aren't these the ones that the heads come out? Oh, do they actually morph from a regular yeah. turtle? Yep. I'm not gonna sit here and do it all right now, but that's one of the ones that morphs from a regular turtle into the Ninja Turtle. Cool. Uh, bruh. Ooh. Shredder, man. It's so mind-boggling looking at all this because there's so many seasons and series and reiterations of the Ninja Turtles that there's just no telling. To me, someone who only has passing knowledge of the Ninja Turtles, it's just so mind-boggling trying to think about how I could figure out which series they're all from. So I'm pretty sure we, we probably had that Shredder. 
But what happened to what had happened was <laughs> my brother took the his toys to the babysitter and I think he made one of the other kids mad and he stole the shredder and then buried it in the backyard. That's rough. <laughs> no idea where it is. I'd have murdered that kid. Alright, go ahead, pick one. Ooh, I'm curious. What is this? It's a clown turtle. <laughs> He's so scary. Listen, I didn't know this existed either until we just watched that uh, episode of the Toys That Made Us. Oh, his suspenders work. That's crazy. Yeah, the suspenders pop in there. That's bro. I'm so happy about this find. I'm low-key afraid of clowns. That All was right. really kind of crazy. Okay. <laughs> uh, who else we got? I don't remember which one's which, Bebop and Rocksteady, but he's one of the two. That's Bebop, That's, I know that. Okay, you remember which one's which? Sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. He's broken, but he's Aww. he's another one of those... With the like, flip out. Yeah, he's, he goes from human hands to monster hands. <laughs> which is weird, because he's a pig. Yeah. <laughs> and his head, his head changes. Ooh! <gasps> Whoa! Oh, bro! That's cool. Yeah. I did not know that was that. Okay, keep going. Um, who is this? He's creepy. I don't know what that is, but I love it. He's, like a mutant he's ninja got a, turtle? He's got a tail. Oh. Alright. Um, actually, I'm vaguely remembering. He's from the movie, isn't he? Is that guy from the movie? I can't remember, but I think he's from the movie. Uh, okay, there's Donatello. Flip out head Donatello! Flip out head Donatello, great. Um, who is this? <laughs> don't <What>? know! <laughs> He's a robot turtle. That's dope. Oh my god. <laughs> my life is complete. Oh, this is awesome. I don't need to go thrifting ever again. All right. <laughs> you know what? Well, okay. I, I do want to say real quick. You guys remember a time before I collected Pez? Where I was just a normal guy who did not collect Pez? And then he found a box of a thousand Pez and then he became a Pez collector and then he started talking about himself in the third person. I guess I collect Ninja Turtles now is what I'm trying to say to you. Is it my turn? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, there's the other one. Oh, that's Rock City. Yeah. I remember him. But I think, yeah, okay, well, obviously, those two are from two different series. Yeah. Uh, or, yeah, two different makes. Wow. All right, next. We had him. The Samurai oh, yeah. uh, Leonardo. Is that from the third movie? I don't know. The one that I never saw? <laughs> I think I think it he is. has a sword that he's supposed to have. That's so cool. I'm so happy right now. This is actually the only one I see that I've already had. I have this guy already in a box in my storage unit. I should have went ahead and got my Ninja Turtle box out of my storage unit just for this episode, but uh, we'll probably, in a future episode, do some more rearranging here in the game room, and I'll just make part of that episode uh, making a whole shelf for Ninja Turtles, because we've got enough. <laughs> we've got enough for a shelf. Go ahead. Let's see. Who's this? I don't know, but I love him. He's weird. What? He's some sort of giant bug. He's got a squishy head. Oh. <laughs> weird. It's like the weirdest stress ball I've ever well, seen. If toys, if Toy Story is real, this guy's mad at me. He's gonna wake up cussing me. <laughs> All right, go ahead. That was. Okay, that was your turn. I remember him. Yeah, I think I. This is. I think this is from one of the episodes I had. Uh, he doesn't have. He's supposed to have wings. He doesn't. I remember this very clearly from my childhood. So. I always kind of thought he had grandma hair, so it really confused me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, we had him too! Oh yeah, I remember Detective this. Donatello. That's great. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I'm so, like, I just, this is the cool, one of the coolest finds we've found in a while. Go ahead. What? Whoa! Is that Samurai Shredder? It must be, it must be from, uh, okay, that's, I picked up the robot. <laughs> Did we have an Imperial? Is that, yeah. I don't know what it is. Actually, no, he's a droid. I think he is from the robot one. Don't those more look like they go together? Yeah, definitely. These are dope, man. That's so cool. All right, keep going. Yes. <laughs> it's an old man wow. turtle. Wow. He's so old. Why are you so old, bro? <laughs> and what is supposed to be? I guess he's supposed to have a helmet. Old Donatello. Okay. Uh, let's go. Before we go through the rest of the turtles, let's grab all the Super Mario stuff out of here. I have a Super Mario shelf, so I'm very happy to add some of this stuff to it. Actually, let's get this out of the way. What is that from? Is that from uh, Overwatch or something? I can't remember. Yeah. That doesn't look Overwatch. No. I don't know. A thing. But yeah. Oh! 
Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've got a Bowser, uh, Yoshi, which I already have this one, a uh, shell, a clear Mario. Oh, does that come in the dark? I don't think so. Oh, this is cool right here. I don't have any of these. Like Look at this, though. Princess Peach in front of a platforming wall. I don't know. That's cool. Oh, oh she, she spins. spins. All right. Cool. Is that all of this? No. Oh, okay. What up? Oh, he rolls too. Does he? Did you hear that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, listen. Oh, just the button does it. Oh. <laughs> what up? All right. So that's yeah. That's all the Super Mario stuff that was in there. Oh, there's a Luigi. Cool. A flying Luigi. Oh, I just saw a turtle. I'm so excited. All right, go ahead and grab it. Tell us oh, about it. Oh, my God. Let's go. If I were a turtle, this would be me. <laughs> it's a beach turtle. I remember these. I don't think I had this one, but I remember these. Very cool. All right, uh, here is another fold-out. This one's actually in the form of the turtle. That's <laughs> so funny. It's Raphael. I can see the red the That's, inside. Yeah. That's funny. That's hilarious. Keep going. I'm excited about him. That's, he's so dope. He's a thug. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. It just the fun doesn't stop. Oh my gosh, Master Shredder. No, Master. Sh Try again. Rip, rip me. Splinter. Splinter. I almost said scabbard, and that's not right either. That's definitely not right. Uh, yeah, it's a transforming master uh, splinter. That's awesome. That might be one of my favorite ones, especially since he's all there. All right, who are you, bro? That's scary. Weird. That's scary right there. He's got he's got a turtle shell for a hat. That's dark, man. That's really dark. All right, keep going. Is that another beach like, one? 90s grunge. <laughs> hype man. 90s. It's a hype beast, Michelangelo. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's that's another one of my favorites. Go ahead. I'm just. What is what is? Is he a why? rabbit? He's a rabbit, bro. With ponytail ears. Listen, I have been collecting uh, Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, and Ninja Turtle VHS. I'm not trying to collect movies and stuff in VHS, but I've been buying every Ninja Turtle VHS I can, and I'm very excited buy some of these figures to find those old episodes on VHS and watch them and then know what the heck this stuff is. Because that's wild right there. All right, my turn? Yeah. What? Are, what? Whoa! What now? That's a really nice, like, Yeah, this kind of looks newer. I, don't, I mean, I'm sure it is Ninja Turtles. It's too goofy not to be, but I don't know what that is. Bro. Oh, sad. He's just a torso, but oh. he's super cool. He's from the movie, too. That's from the, I remember that from the movie. Uh, the second one, I think. The ooze. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I don't remember their names, but I remember that. Okay. Forget <laughs> everything I've said. Forget everything. This is my favorite. That. Oh, my God. It's a magician Raphael. That's amazing. This is going on the front of the shelf. Okay, this is dark. What though. the heck? There's like a dead bird under his cape. <laughs> Or it's, I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. But a magician Raphael, he's getting set aside. He's going on the shelf tonight. He's super cool. Go ahead. Who is this? Another bunny. He must have been from that uh, third movie, too. He's kind of samurai looking. Yeah. His top his, knot's I mean, cut his, off, though. <laughs> his ears were cut off. All right, keep going. Oh! Uh, I can't remember their name. They're one of the OG villains. And I just... I, I can't remember. Wait, what? I see does this come out? If it does, Whoa. does he come all the way out? He does. Show the camera. He's oh my out. god! It's kind of gross. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, you might have to go on the shelf tonight. You seem too precious. The OGs, man. He's got a big old baby head. That's awesome. <laughs> all right, uh, there's a few more turtles here. There's a rubber one. I think it's from the movie. Yeah a bit newer than the other ones and definitely sculpted like from the movie. Beautiful. I think it's another... Oh, this is one of the OG, like, original yeah, ones. Yeah, it, it's missing its belt. Aw, oh, bummer. Yeah. Well, they're all missing belts or tools or something, but True. yeah. It is one of the older ones. And then another fold-up. I might have the whole fold-up set. I think so. Bruh. 
Wait, do we have a? Yeah, we have Michelangelo's right there. All right, the last one. Ba -ba -da -da. He's, oh. got, he's got all his weapons. He does. He's got the the detachable belt and everything. It's very cool. That is awesome. All right, well, let's talk about favorites. Hold on. While we while we pick our favorites, I gotta I gotta change a little bit. Put on my Ninja Turtle glasses. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I mean I'm I kind of already gave it away, but I think my favorites are probably the magician. Yeah. That's just I don't know. That speaks to me right there. That's what's yeah. your favorite one? I think. I mean, I love this. This is just this is beautiful. That is like great. I love him. <laughs> that is great right there. I think these guys are pretty close seconds. The spaceman. Yeah, and the clown. Cool. This clown is so dumb. <laughs> oh man. Well, you guys comment below and let us know what your favorite thing that we got today was. Uh, I'm so ecstatic about this find. I don't want to collect Ninja Turtles, you see, but I feel obligated to now. Oh yeah, you have to. <laughs> we just. I'll collect them well, if it makes you feel better. Okay, they're, that'll make me feel way better. You buy them when we go to the store. It's funny because I see individual Ninja Turtles in the bags at like Savers all the time. Yeah. But it's always like a six dollar bag, and I only want the Ninja Turtles, so I don't buy them. But whew, I love them. I love them so much. Uh, I guess you guys can comment below and let us know what your least favorite thing we got today was. But I don't. I don't have anything to be mad about today. I have all the Ninja Turtles. Look at this shot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, also before you go guys, run over to our merch store, tindostore.com, check out all our merch. We're selling some decals. You can get some decals to stick on your water bottle. Check out our t-shirts and hoodies, etc. Also, we have a Discord where we discuss our collections. It's a community forum. Come on over, talk to us, show us what you collect. I'm betting somebody watching is a Ninja Turtles collector or a Ninja Turtles aficionado. And if that's you, come over to our Discord, join it. Let's chat about Ninja Turtles tomorrow on the Discord. Well, today. If you're watching this, it'll be today. <laughs> For me, it'll be tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, come on over. The link is in the description below for our Discord. And also, before you go, guys, I just want to beg you for the six minutes time to hit that subscribe button. We are almost to 800 subs. Like, this close. Like, super close. Go ahead and sub if you're watching. I would appreciate that greatly. And then everybody that is sub, please hit that notification bell so that in the future when we post videos of finding giant, giant, giant bags of Ninja Turtles, because it's probably going to happen again, right? Uh, probably. One day. One day it'll happen again. And you'll want to get a notification at that exact moment that we have posted a video so that you can come back here and hang out with us. At that exact moment. And until then, guys, Calabunga. <laughs>